All right. Hey there. Uh, my name is Moog, and my partner is Rahul. And this is our video for extra credit in our game. All right, let's load the game. OK, so as you can see in our game, uh, we have a bunch of different flowers that are spread throughout. And the objective of the game is to uh, go ahead and collect all of these flowers. And so these flowers were generated pseudo randomly along with their uh, location as well as the quantity of flowers. Right. And so if you move around, there's an option and I guess a secret ability to invert your controls, which is one of our creative mechanics in which if we press the or if we click I, then the player will either knowingly or unknowingly move in inverted controls. So if they click W, then they'll go down. And if they click uh, S, then they'll go up. And the same is for D and A, where if you click right or D, then you'll go to the left. And if you click A or left, then you'll go to the right. Yeah. And the next creative mechanic that we added was if you're going over certain tiles, then we added a flavor to each tile. So a floor will have the method, uh, or I mean, sorry, the message that you should make sure not to slip. And hovering over the avatar or over like the floor, you'll see when we hover over you, you're the goat, the true protagonist of this game. And if you hover the, over the wall, it's rock solid. You can't get through it. Uh, we have it for various other tiles too. So for the door, we have like uh, collect all the flowers to unlock, which is actually a serious message in this case. But for uh, nothing, we have like the great unknown and uh, yeah. And so uh, throughout the game, um, if you press I again, you should be able to invert back. And so once you collect all the flowers, the locked door will eventually unlock. And so one of our creative mechanics is that uh, once the door is unlocked, you have to actually go to the unlocked door in order to win the game. So as you'll notice, once I collect this last flower, the door should change from uh, a locked position to an unlocked position. And the other thing you're going to notice is that right next to the door in the surrounding walls, there's going to be a new tile uh, representing water. And so the thing about the water tile is that even though it's not known to the user, if you go to the water tile uh, instead of to the unlocked door, you'll actually just lose the game. But if I go here to the uh, unlocked door and I uh, do that, it should say that congrats, you've won the game. Uh, alternatively, if I was to go into the water, uh, then uh, it should say that the game is lost. There we go. So I guess just to sum up, our three main points are that we created flavors for each tiles just to give some cool, nice message to each uh, user. And another one was that we had secret inverted controls. So if you really wanted, you could mess around with the controls, uh, play the game in a different way, in a different light. And finally, our final method or our final creative point was that we created a small mini game where you had to collect all of the flowers on the board and that would unlock the door uh, that is placed randomly on the board. And you have the ability to lose or win based on if you get through the door or accidentally go into the water. All right, thank you.